Okay, you guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about the test mode. And children really do like being tested. It's exciting and it's challenging to them. So you will find them probably asking to be tested quite often. But you will know a child or a student is ready to be tested um, on, their, on one of their sounds when they have reached at least 90% accuracy several times in a row while working in the practice mode. Okay, so to do a test, you are going to select the sound. So we're going to select SH, and then we're gonna do the medial position, we're gonna do set one, and we're gonna do the phrase level. So now um, we are going to tap on the red bar that says test. And now it, it'll take us to the timer. And you can set the time anywhere between one minute and 10 minutes for a test. But usually one minute works very well. So we're gonna choose that and we're gonna start the test. Now you will notice up in the upper right hand corner in green, you will see that the timer has already started. So the child will be taking, it, taking their test, saying wishing for a salt shaker, wishing for a flashlight, wishing for a parachute, wishing for a C cell. And you're gonna go ahead and you're going to be marking it. The child does not determine if their response is correct when they are being tested. It's okay to have them do this in the practice mode, but in the test mode, only a parent, teacher, or therapist should keep score. Now, every target sound has to be correct in order for the child to receive credit. And do not ask a child to correct a sound in the test mode. Again, when they are working in the practice mode, yes, you always want to ask them to correct their sound, but not in the test mode. You want to see what they will do on their own, okay? So the timer is going to stop automatically after one minute or whatever time you chose, all right? So there it goes, time's up. So now you can tap on view results and you will see the results. You will see the amount of correct sounds and the percentages. So to close out of this page, you're gonna go up to the, to the corner, right hand corner and hit close. And it's gonna take you back to the main, main page. But remember when we were in the practice mode, none of those results would um, stay permanently. But since we did a test, they will, they will be stored. So you just have to go down to the, the menu bar at the bottom, tap on profiles, and then you can go over to test results. It's written in blue and you select that and you will see all of the, the date, time, points, and score of the tests that they just took. So the, the very last test is on the bottom. All right. So you can see that Landon has done very well on his R's. He's pretty much mastered them. He has 100%. His speed is good. But when he gets down to his SHs and his CHs, he still needs more work because he's only, you know, mastering that sound. He's only, well, not mastering, but he's only um, saying that sound correctly at about a 67% or 77% rate. And we also want to increase his speed a little bit too. Okay, so he did not pass the test for the SH, the C, and the CH. He's gonna to have to keep working on that. Now, it's very important for a child to be able to say a sound correctly at a decent rate of speed. When a child um, wants to show you something or share something exciting that has happened to them, they are speaking to you at a very fast rate, or a decent rate of speed. And so if we never have them practice their sounds, at you know a, a decent rate, it's going to be difficult for them to be able to carry over that correct sound into daily life and daily experiences. So this is what makes our one minute articulation app very unique. We practice accuracy and speed and the results are amazing. But a child must practice daily, but just for a minute or two, in order to clear up speech sounds. And they can clear up these speech sounds within months when they do this type of, of practice. So now what do you do if a child's having difficulty increasing their speed? Maybe they have the accuracy, but their speed's just kind of lagging still. 
And so this is what you're going to do. You're going to go back to the practice mode. So let's see there. He's having a hard time with some of the CHs. We're going to go to CHs and we're going to do the medial and we're going to do a sentence. Okay. So we're going to go back to practice mode. Now, what we're going to do to get their speed up is we're going to hit this green button. They're not going to hit the buttons we are. And we're going to hit that green button before they are finished with that sentence. Okay. We're going to hit it when they get to the last word so that we can get them to speed up. So watch this. We're going to say the teacher is watching the lunchbox. The teacher is watching the, and when I get to the, I'm going to hit it. He's going to say wheelchair. And then the teacher is watching the matches. The teacher is watching the rocking chair. The teacher is watching the picture. So you're going to hit it before they're finished with that sentence to get them to keep going faster and faster with their sounds. Once a child gets the accuracy and speed down within the limits that we have set, and you can check what the limits are. If you go to the bottom menu bar to info, we have on here the test mode. And we say, you know, the word level, we want them to be able to do about 48 to 60 sounds in a minute. The phrase level, 48 to 72 sounds in a minute. And the sentence level, 48 to 96 sounds in a minute. Now, it, I've had lots of kids be able to do like 118, 125 sounds in a minute at the sentence level because they are working on four um, sounds per sentence. So they get so excited when they see that. So anyways, um, have fun testing. And um, when you begin to hear um, this, you're, the child produce correct sounds all the time in their everyday speech. It is so exciting to, to them and for um, and to you. So enjoy doing the test mode. It's a, it's a lot of fun.